Hello all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here and it is day 11 here on planet 26. Well, the last episode we had finished one uh, uh, defense bunker and that was over on the other side over there and we got this defense bunker functional. So what today I want to do is uh, finish this defense bunker and then we've got to go and find nickel and get up get a nickel mine set up and then what we need to do is uh, devise a means of being able to transport that nickel back to the base and so I probably won't get that portion done but I do want to get this defense bunker finished and then uh, go find that nickel and, and get a uh, nickel mine set up and I'm going to do it just exactly like I did with the uh, magnesium. Uh, I'll set up uh, uh, a resource node along with uh, a large container and with uh, uh, wind turbines for the uh, power. So I think what I will do now is go ahead and get started on this. I've got to finish welding this up and get these welded up uh, obviously that's done it has ammo in it that's done so basically just some of the more cosmetic type stuff so that shouldn't take me too long so I think with that I will uh, get busy on uh, getting this finished Well, I finished up the turret, but I just had an unfortunate... Well, as you can see, the weather is just pretty brutal out there right now. And I just had a uh, lightning strike right here. So, I guess I'm going to have to do some fixing up here on the interior. I think it's a matter of just putting in uh, blocks around. I don't know what... Uh, let's see if we can see what might be damaged, if anything. Uh, I still have solar panels. Alright. Uh, let's do it this way. Let's see if we can kind of view and see what this looks like from up above. Uh... It might have taken out a... No, I don't think so. Alright, well... Let's, uh... Get out of here. And let's see if I can, uh... Let's pull out a block. Let's go, uh, P. Let's change this to yellow. And let's go five. I need to grab some steel. There. 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 All right, let's... All right, that's got that one. Oh, I need more steel, of course. Let's grab that. And then uh, we'll grab... Uh... Oh. I didn't want that. I wanted... That. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's just do something like this. And... We can get up here. Oh, 
Alright, look out. Looks like, uh... Alright. That looks good. That looks good. I think I'm going to have to still get on top. Because I don't think we're completely airtight yet. I think we've got to put a few more blocks in. Oh. I still got this block, of course. Let's see what happens when we get this block in. Okay, we are airtight again. I think that was everything. Uh, let's see if there's anything missing. Look at the control panel. Air vent. I thought I had an antenna. I bet. Well, no, I've got a. Uh, air vent similar battery gyroscope. Well, it's airtight again. We've got that fixed. Let's take this out. And I want to show you what I've gotten done over here. This bunker is actually done. This storm should be letting up pretty soon. But I did get all the windows. Everything's done here. All of this is done. All of this is done up here. The turret is all in. We had that done before. I got the sensor on, the door opens and closes, the battery, you can see we've got the windows all in place, the desk is in, and the lights and everything's all set. So that, uh, this one is in. So next on the list to do today is to go find some nickel and once I get underway and I uh, am heading over there I'll uh, I'll check back in with you as I'm on my way well as you can see I am on the road uh, and uh, I've got to, I'm at the small lake, and I think I need to head off in this direction. Uh, so what I want to do is kind of head in this direction, and we'll actually take advantage of the lake here. Uh, I think we want to kind of stay in this type of forest here. This type of tiga or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think that is where the uh, where my uranium mine is. That's my uranium mine. So I think actually I need to swing more towards this way, actually. So if that's the uranium mine, we need to head this, this direction. Okay, well, as I get a little closer and see if I can avoid some of these uh, hostile enemies, um, I'll give you an update as I get further on down the road. Okay, I am starting to make some progress here. I think that set of mountains off over there in the distance is close to the edge of the frozen ocean. <coughs> so, we should be getting close. 
just kind of wanted to show you where I was at here on the map and uh, where I think I'm getting close to. So once we reach the end where the pointer is at, once we get down to about there, we should be able to see the uh, frozen ocean. Okay, well, as you can see, we've hit the frozen ocean. I actually think I'm going to put a marker right here. Let me go ahead and put a marker in. Uh, new from current. Ocean. Okay. Now I think we need to go along here. Yeah. Now I'm not sure how far down it is, but this alongside the edge of that mountain, we should in a few kilometers hit uh, nickel. So let's just kind of motor on down through here. We're seeing ice, of course. But it should be, well, a little ways down. But we can at least make good time here. And I see the uh, enemy, the ember, ember, is putting more outposts and stuff in as soon as I go somewhere, so go figure kind of hoping that that one right down there in the lower right is going to be as close as they set up. So hopefully we are going to run into the nickel just down the ways here. All right well once I uh, get down to the nickel field I will uh, catch back up with you. Alright, well, you know what? We just hit the nickel field. So let's see. This is gonna be perfect. I like I like where it's at here. Let's uh see if we can't get one that's closer to the surface, like let's get right up over and into here. Tell you what, let's hop out and pull out our drill and see if we can't find a good spot that's maybe something, yeah, like that's about 30. All right, I'm gonna put it right here. Let me go ahead and mark this. Uh, we're just gonna call it uh, nickel. We'll call it the nickel mine. There we go, all right. And this is where we are gonna put, put things in. Alright, which means what we're going to want to do is nine. Uh, I need some steel plates. We're going to throw this static drill right there. Now the beauty about this, once we get this up and going, I hope I have enough nickel. Oh, I was able to get everything. Alright. Alright, let's get right over here on the mark. All right, let's see here. I think right about there should be good. And uh, I thought, well, shoot. Let me 
go G. All right, well, fine. Let's do this. Okay. I thought I had uh, gotten everything. I must have had uh, something left over from before. And it needs motors. Of course it's going to need motors. Okay. It's, it's getting them. All right. You know what? I may not need all of those motors. And let's see. Uh Yeah, I'm I'm above that the functional line, so I think that will work out pretty good. All right. And uh, Lieutenant Missy has just uh, got up onto the desk here, so I think she wants to be uh, involved. Either that or I know what she probably wants. She wants me to uh, take her outside. But that's not going to happen right now. She's just going to have to wait. All right. Well, I tell you what. Once I get this a little farther along... I will uh, catch back up with you. Uh, you kind of know what I'm doing here. So I'm going to build out from the back side, putting in the uh, wind turbines, and that will help, uh, uh, well, that'll be the power supply. And then out through the front, I'm going to end up building a large cargo platform. So. Uh, we'll uh, get that built in, so I'll uh, see you in a bit. Okay, well, as you can see, I got the drill going, and we are gathering nickel. So uh, I got the uh, wind turbines up. So I need to take down the scaffolding. As you can see, that's the scaffolding that I built to get up to the top. That works pretty well. So we're going to go up here and start uh, taking this stuff all down and see if I can make sure I don't make a mistake. Back up here and uh, and then I just got to build out the platform and the cargo bay and then we're going to I may uh, create a little mine over here off to the side somewhere out of the way and because I want to load up on as much nickel as I can before I head back hopefully that will give me enough uh, uh, resources to really kind of go into the next phase I need to be able to get this uh, stuff back uh, back to the base and we are some uh, I think if you look at it uh, small lake is 34 kilometers so I think we are some 40 kilometers away from from base so that's quite a ways to go uh, and I don't necessarily want to have to drive there every time I need it so I'm going to try uh, hopefully this will work uh, set up uh, basically an automated drone uh, re uh, retrieval system of some sort where I just have the drones going back and forth uh, collecting collecting the resources from like this nickel and the magnesium and the uranium uh, I've got an idea on that the cobalt is close enough and maybe even the uranium might be close enough that I could run pipelines from them. So we'll see. Anyway, once I get this a uh, little bit further along, I will uh, catch back up with you. Well, as you can see, we've got success. I've got a uh, nickel, nickel mining resource node in, and uh, it is mining away. Uh, I have been grabbing nickel as it's been being mined as I was uh, finishing up 
some stuff around here. And let me grab this. See, you can see the nickel coming in. So that is a welcome relief. Now the only real problem is it's so dang far away that I've got to figure out how I'm going to transport the nickel and my magnesium from here back to the base. And uh, I think that's the next next solution that I'm going to be having to work on. So I think right now what I'm going to do is hang out here for a while and grab as much nickel as I can. Uh, and uh, uh, then I'm going to start heading back to base. And uh, I'll give you an update once I get back to the base. All right, well, I am slowly making my way back, but as you can see, I have a lot of red around me. There was a supply cache that got spawned over into there. I've got these two patrol drones going up and around, so I'm gingerly trying to get my way around. I'm more worried about uh, the drones as opposed to anything else, so I'm hoping that I can kind of just ever so slowly work my way around. So just want to kind of give you an update. If anything bad happens, I'll uh, check back in with you. Well, as you can see, I have uh, issues here. I think I just took them out, I think. I think I did. Oh yeah. All right, he's done. Okay. Well, let's get out of range so he doesn't shoot up all my ammo. We're not going to go worrying about salvaging anything. Come on, let's get out of range. Turn you off. Well, I'm sure that uh, helped my uh, rapport. Yeah. We got the other one that's going to start coming over here. Yeah, he's on his way over. Let's turn the turret back on. Hi. Okay. Let's take him down. Come on. Oh, I think we just took him down. Okay. Let's turn that off. All right. All right, let's see if we can beat feed it out of here now. Oh, 
boy, oh boy. Well, that's... <laughs> I, we're probably going to have to go... Uh, yeah, that's... We've, we've got to get... Uh, our uh, supply transports in place so that we can start gathering up those resources because I know we're going to need more magnesium. We're going to have to produce more ammo. So at least we were able to take those out and we didn't sustain any damage. So, all right, well, when I get back to base, I'll catch back up with you. All right, home sweet home. And so I think all in all a pretty successful day today. We finished that uh, uh, bunker over there, that turret bunker. We managed to get a nickel mine started and, and actually get some good uh, nickel. Uh, I have over 10,000 uh, kilograms of, for whatever it is, uh, kilograms of uh, nickel. So that'll give me something to work with. I think uh, and we shot down a couple of drones, probably irritated the hell out of uh, the Ember Coalition. And so, yeah, pretty successful day today. All right, well, I think that's going to wrap. Actually, first off, uh, so next, next episode, uh, I need to look at some more resources. I might uh, uh, try to hook up the Cobalt mine get that uh, going and we have to really kind of start uh, figuring out how to retrieve the nickel and the magnesium uh, and I want to do that with uh, aircraft uh, it's just too long to put in uh, a pipeline from where they're at that's over well over 30 kilometers uh, actually I think 42 kilometers to the uh, nickel mine but uh, with an aircraft that that won't be too bad we can cover that fairly quickly so all right well I think that's going to do it for today uh, if you like the video please hit that thumbs up it really helps out the video a lot and please subscribe that that really helps the channel and uh, with that all you space engineers out there keep uh, building away keep your heads low and don't get shot and uh, with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone.